Hi guys, it's me J Woods and today we are going to do a roller set, um, Dominican hair salon style. So if you want to see how to do that, just keep on watching. First things first, the rollers that I'm going to use is these right here. They're from the brand Diane. I will link them down below. I got these on Amazon. These are cheaper than a lot of um, the other ones that I saw. For some reason, Amazon has like some really expensive ones. I don't know, they're trying to scam us. Um, and then I also bought the pins there as well, the bobby pins. And these are very long, so they're perfect for rollers. These aren't really for styling here, they're more for actually doing rollers. And these are only a dollar, so I'm definitely going to link them down below as well because these are the cheapest ones uh, that I saw. Now, in terms of hair products, I'm going to just link down below the hair products that I typically use. Today, I use a lot of like more expensive ones, but I don't know if they're good or if they're bad or if they're as good as my cheap ones. So I'm just going to link uh, the products that I usually use. Like, for example, I love using this silicone mix um, leave-in conditioner. This is super cheap. It's like a cheap uh, Dominican brand. So I will definitely link what I usually use down below. But one thing I will suggest is before you do something like this where um, you're using heat, um, what you want to do is just apply a mask. Keep that in mind, um, always do a hair mask before you're using heat on your hair just because it will help protect your hair and your ends a bit. Um, and then make sure your hair is very, very wet. When I say wet, I don't mean damp. Your hair needs to be super duper wet if you're going to do rollers just because you really want to make sure that you stretch your hair around the rollers just to make sure that it's very flat and that's how you're going to get like nice, like um, elongated look if you have curly hair I'm gonna start a picture of what my hair looks like curly and then also what it looks like when I do like a um what's it called like a rough dry just so you know um what my hair texture is so if you have a similar texture this will probably work for you all right now typically when you uh, do rollers you use like a rat tail comb just to like separate everything section it off I can't find mine so I don't know I'm gonna try to use like a little pin hopefully that works but the way that you do your rollers is first they all go straight back you do kind of like a mohawk and then um, the way that you measure it is just go like this in the middle of your head not like this if you do it this way it's gonna end up being like too thick just do it this way and then that'll be like how wide you should be making it all right now that I have my little mohawk um, in the middle you're just going to take a section you don't want it to be too thick but honestly, as you're doing rollers, the more often you do it, you'll figure out what is too thick and what's not thick enough. So my hair is very wet, so all I'm going to do is starting from the bottom, going to curl it back. And then as you're curling it up, just like use your hands to really press it down. You really want to pull on the hair and make it look very flat like this and then that's how you'll end up getting really really good results and again do not forget keep wetting your hair throughout if it is getting dry because that makes a huge difference and what I do is I try, I try to make sure that it's tight just so it pulls on my roots a little bit more I just do two pins if you need more if it feels like very loose or whatever you can add more but I just do two and while I'm doing my hair instead of having like a spray thing with water I actually just use this this is the Aflagy keratin green tea reconstructor um, this basically is like almost like as if it were a leave-in conditioner it's like if you mix like water with a leave-in conditioner so this isn't going to make your hair like super greasy or anything but it does help with shine um i think it also helps with like heat as well but i do like to add this rather than adding water just because this doesn't make my hair frizzy one thing i don't want to forget to mention is as you're doing the next roller you're probably gonna have to put your hair down like this and then go through it That'll just help you like with the positioning and all that. And if you aren't getting it right, it might be because you're using too much hair. So then maybe try to use um, less hair in the next one. Just like things like that really affect how just like flat you're going to be able to get your roller. So just continue doing the same thing for the whole like mohawk area. For the back part, you aren't going to be able to see yourself. Some people put a mirror behind them. I don't. I just sort of feel around. I know it sounds kind of difficult, but trust me, you got this girl. You're going to kill it, okay? So just continue doing that. So now we're moving to the sides. You can see here my hair is starting to curl up and dry up a little bit. So I'm just going to spray some of this on my roots. All right, so for the sides, um, basically the way that you part is you part it right by where your ear is. You try to roughly, yeah, so pretty much like that. And then usually for this piece, I end up doing about like three to four rollers. I'll probably end up doing four rollers. 
So yeah, you just part it across. And since my hair is feeling damp instead of wet, I'm going to just wet the entire thing. And then when you do this piece of hair, you don't do it the way that you do like the mohawk area in the sense that you don't roll it up back, you roll it up under. That makes sense. I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. So on the top parts of our hair, we went like this and we rolled under. But for these parts on the side, you actually roll it up. So let me try to do that now. So you'll go to the end of the hair, you'll wrap it around, and then you roll it up like this. Just like that, and then you put the two pins in. So for the front pieces, it's the same process. I put about three rollers in this front area, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it, I'm going to spray it, because once again, your hair needs to be very, very wet um, when you're doing this. So I'm just going to spray it, and I'm actually going to wrap it under. The reason being, I don't know if you can see, but I have like a shorter piece of hair because I have a shorter layer. So because of that, it's going to change the way I wrap it a little bit. Like I'm going to grab it all from the bottom like this, just because that'll help me get the layer in it. See how I'm wrapping the hair around? That'll help move the Layer, but then the other two I just did regularly the same way I did um, the rollers behind this. So yep, just finished uh, wrapping it up. Alright, so I'm done with my rollers. They aren't perfect, but good enough for me. Um, one thing I did want to sort of bring up is um, when you do the ones in the front, it's going to be hard to get a, a bench in the back, a bobby pin in the back. So you're just going to want to put two, slide them in the front, um, just because that'll make it easier. Uh, but then I'm going to put on this thing. We call it a redacilla, as Dominicans, um, but what the hell is this called in English? A hairnet? I don't know. Things that I feel like hairnets are for when you cook, but you need a hairnet like this. Now you're probably thinking like, no, I don't really need that. You do need it because at some point, for example, you're going to get out of the bottom of the hair dryer, whether it's to pee or to get something to eat or whatever the case may be. And the thing is that when you do that, it's going to sort of move your um, rollos around a little bit. So you really want to tie one of these on. It's just going to make sure that they all stay together so you won't have any issues. Now they're all together. They're all secure. I could shake my head a little bit and they're not going to like come apart. So I use this soft hood. I know that like other brands make this as well, but I got this one specifically because I knew that my rollers will fit under it. I don't know if I get like the larger size rollers that will still fit, but I felt like some of the ones that I saw, they look like they were kind of small, like they might be more so for um, like perm rods rather than actual rollers. But this actually fits my roller, so that's why I bought it. And it also has a lot of holes on the inside, so I feel like it helps dry a little bit faster, even though it still takes forever to dry. Um, I know I'm gonna be under this for at least two hours before I check um, if it's dry, but honestly, I'm probably gonna be under for more like two and a half hours before I check, just because my hair is long. So yeah, so basically this is what it looks like, um, but at the end, it has this funnel type of thing and then you will insert the blow dryer in here and then it'll act as a um, hair dryer and honestly it does stay it doesn't come off or anything and I just lay this flat on my desk while I like watch TV or do whatever the only thing is that when you use these do not put it on high heat so don't put it high heat and high like um, blower pressure <laughs> Because if you put it on high and on high, I've seen people who like melt these things. So what you want to do is you want to put it on like medium and then high heat. Or if you're going to put it on high heat, maybe like low um, with the blow dry pressure. You're just going to like play around with it a bit. But do not put it high and high heat because you will most likely melt this thing. Okay? Because it's going to be on for at least two hours most likely to dry your hair um but yeah i also purchased this blow dryer on amazon i'll put it down below i really really like it because it comes with a diffuser it also comes with a comb attachment and then it comes with um, one of those attachments so that you could have like more specific like heat when you're doing your hair i just want to show you that it does fit over my rollers I feel like if I got like the next size larger my rollers, it wouldn't have fit, but it does fit. It comes with this neck chin strap type of thing. You definitely want to put this on just because once you start the blow dryer, it's going to like kind of push it up a bit. So you definitely want to put that on. And then it has this on the side just so you can tighten it. 
So make sure you tighten it pretty well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in two and a half hours. <laughs> so finally, my hair feels pretty dry. As you can tell, the sun went down. That's how long it took. But when you do test your hair to see if it's dry, always test some like from the middle up here just because sometimes the edges and the sides, they dry quicker than the rest of the hair. So I'm just going to take my rollers out. Okay, once you roll the rollers, don't forget to rub your head because, ow. <laughs> okay, it kind of hurts. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is something that I saw a girl do on um, YouTube actually, and I've like done it a couple times. So what you can do now is you can just put some oil in your hair, which I already put some in my hair, and then you're going to actually wrap your hair. I'm going to start this way, and I'm going to use these clips um, to wrap it. So you're just going to go around your hair. And this is what you can do after if you don't want to add more heat, but you do sort of want to flatten your hair a little bit more. It's like stretch it some more, flatten it, set it a bit. So I'm going to do it now just to show you what it looks like, um, but I'm going to actually also just like blow dry only my roots. Sometimes when people take out their rollers, what they do is they will put in, um, they'll go through it with a flat iron, which I feel like kind of defeats the purpose of lunar rollers. The whole point of rollers is that you don't have direct heat, and because you don't have direct heat, it's better for your hair. So the less direct heat, the better. So I'm just put that on my hair, and I'm going to take... One of these satin caps put that over okay and then now we put this back on and just blow dry it for another let's say like 10 15 minutes and so these are my results just using the roller set Let me try to zoom out. okay i think here you can see it better this is what the hair looks like. You can totally just leave it like this, especially if you're trying to use um, less heat, but I still want to style it some more. So I'm going to go through it with my Dyson, but I feel like this alone is already some pretty good results. I just, I can see certain parts like in my roots where it's not that straight, especially like over here. I definitely want to go over that so what I'm going to do is just try to concentrate the brush more so on my roots and less on my ends just because your ends is where you get the breakage um, so yeah I'm just gonna go through my hair and I'll be back so I just wanted to show you a little bit more of what the hair will look like just with the roller set uh, before you blow dry the roots honestly I think this looks so pretty on its own if you don't want to add like any extra heat you could definitely just leave it like this I would just suggest parting it in the middle just because obviously the edges usually end up being frizzier but when you part it in the middle it looks perfect so here I am really just straightening the roots. What I would do is I would just have the blow dryer on when I was going through the roots and then um, I will turn it off when I would comb through the bottom. And I really only use heat for one pass through the bottom just to give the bottom a little bit of shape. But again, you don't want to use too much heat. I also wanted to mention you can do this in the salon as well. I've seen ladies do this before where they'll get their rollers done, then they'll tell the stylist to only blow out their edges and just the roots, and then that'll just help you not have as much heat on the ends because when we get breakage and we can't retain length, usually it's because it breaks off at the ends. So if you just, you know, straighten the root, you'll get a lot less breakage. So when I finished blow drying it, I just um, did like little pin curls at the end and then I did my makeup so that it can set. So here I am just removing those pin curls. And honestly, I love this just because it gives me a good amount of volume. If you have like a layered haircut, this is like the perfect way to style your hair because you'll get like nice, um, just like fullness. So your layers look super, super pretty. And then look at how good the hair turned out. Like that looks like I went to a hair salon. It looks so pretty and I love the fact that it's not like a crazy amount of direct heat. It's just some indirect heat and then some direct heat only on the roots. So I feel like my hair is going to be so much healthier because of that. 
Now, honestly, I was feeling myself too much. I was like, damn, a bitch look good. I need to put on some lipstick. I feel like it really brought the look together. It made me look a little bit pale. So if you're trying to fly me out, my DMs are open, okay? But um, yeah, I just love the way that the hair turned out. Here, the curls dropped a little bit, but I still feel like it has a lot of volume and it still looks so good. Uh, so let me know what you think down below. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. I didn't want this video to be too long, so I did edit out certain things. If you have any questions, I will definitely answer them for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.